Sam. Hi. Sam was at the Chiller Convention over the weekend. What's yeah. going on over there? Well, a lot of uh, celebrities <clears throat> from Hollywood. All right, hold hold the phone with celebrities. Yeah, give us a list of people you saw at this uh, horse shit. Yeah. Well, it was in Parsippany, New Jersey. That's uh, Mecca for ce celebrity <laughs> sightings, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and it featured such celebrities as Mickey Dolenz from The Monkees was there. Wow. Um, Mickey Dolenz, you said? Yeah. Holy shit. He was the cool one in The Monkees. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I got my photo taken with Tony Curtis. Stony Curtis. That was him in, in the Flintstones. Hi, I'm Stony Curtis. For 120... Can I stay at the house? Spartacus. <laughs> Hated that fucking show. <laughs> yeah. Flintstones Hated ruled. Flintstones. I liked uh, the I liked first, the first uh, season. Then they started getting a little silly. Once they brought the Great Kazoo in, I was out. First season was very funny. How many seasons were there? Uh, 18. I have no idea. It's one of those shows you think it had like 10 or 12 seasons and... And it was like two. Three. Yeah, <laughs> three yeah, yeah. seasons. Something dumb. It just in reruns forever and ever. What else there, Sam? Tony Curtis is a big one, I guess. Tony sure. Curtis was big. He's uh he's Yeah, little... he was big. That's like... They, you know, these chiller theater conventions aren't having as many people, it seems, uh, that you kind of want to get autographs from. Well, I mean, you don't get that many opportunities to meet Tony Curtis. That's true. You probably won't get that many more later. Jamie Lee Curtis's father, by the way. Is he looking old? It's yeah. true. Yeah. Look at me like I'm a fucking half, I had no half a fag I, over I, here. No, that's not it. <laughs> you didn't know that? No, I didn't know that. Yes. What do I know about Tony Curtis? Uh. Unless there's Curtis and so is hers. Lots of people. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> that's an easy one. Yeah. If you're going to be... Hobnobbing with the celebs, you should know a <laughs> yeah. little bit about them. You should have said, so. Tony, really, what is that thing between your daughter's legs? Please tell us. <laughs> yeah. We've been hearing rumors forever. Yeah. Rumors she was born a man. Yeah. Sam. That's she's, right. She's got a cock. <laughs> or maybe had both. For yeah. $125, you could buy a painting of Stoney Curtis and have it signed by Ooh. Tony Curtis. Wait, no, stop. <laughs> I swear. I swear. Are, uh, you're not joking? No, I swear. He was actually playing off the whole Stoney Curtis thing. Yeah. You could get all the painting. movies he's made and and everything, but that was kind of the big get. Well, I had an eight by ten from Spartacus signed. Oh, you did. Okay. Y yes, but there was the option of paying one hundred twenty five dollars to get a painting of Stony Curtis. Is it an original cell? No, it was a painting on canvas. That sucks. I know. I don't know anyone would buy it. Jesus, fuck him. But uh, fuck him and the much, horse he rode in on. How much was the picture? It was only twenty five bucks. It's a pretty good deal for Tony Curtis. Yeah, sure. is it? George uh, A. Romero, Peter Chris. Mm -hmm. Those are big names. A lot Peter of people Chris. from uh, the Italian zombie movies were there. There's a whole section, the Italian section of uh, of zombie, but I didn't know them. Really? Yeah. Lou Ferrigno was there. Oh. All right, that's big. Yeah. What was He's, he doing? Oh, I, I mean, at the phone like he had no idea what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Can they fix this, Mars? <laughs> Oh, I can't What's the matter? So your your mic uh, arm is a little squeaky. That's all right. I like I like to move around a lot. I feel like I don't want to interrupt everybody. I was talking to uh, Big Kev, who was there. Believe it or not, the Big Kev. No way. Yeah, and uh, the original Ronald McDonald was scheduled to be there. <laughs> scheduled to. Yeah, yes. but his hard drive was taken by the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Big Kev said the rumor was that while he was on his way to Chiller Theater. He had a heart attack and died. That sounds like a rumor. I, I didn't see anything on the news that the original Ronald no, McDonald died. No, sounds like a work. There was Jan Brady from the Variety Show. Holy oh, shit! <laughs> I was just gonna be like, Eve Plum was there, and no. you pulled the one from the Variety Show out. Yes. Who the hell? No one knows her from shit. And remember, she had to make believe that she was part of uh, the series. Yeah, yeah. Like, like we weren't gonna notice. <laughs> that could be. This might be a little too uh, inside, but it's worth, one of worth talking about. Could be one of the worst shows ever put on television. Was the Brady Bunch variety show? And, really? And Eve yeah. Plum was a holdout, so they got this uh, this new uh, Jan Brady to do everything, and then they had a. She was making they believe that she was the real Jan Brady. They would do sketches uh, on the show, on this variety show, in between their singing and dancing numbers and their guests With that their would come bell on. Bottoms. Uh, yeah. They would uh, do these sketches where they were the Brady family and, and do little, like, five or ten, eight-minute sketches uh, as if they were on the show still. Ugh. So the mother would be like, Jan, Ugh. Jan, 
And this girl would come in. It's like, that's, that's, that's not, not Jan. Jan. That stinks. You can always tell if the father or her walked in because uh, you, you, if you listen to you, because someone would go, hello, faggot, or who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that Charlie Callis was part of the... <laughs> he was the new uh, Peter Brady. Yes. <laughs> Peter? Peter? <laughs> uh, Sam, <laughs> sounds like this chiller uh, convention sucked. No, it was a place to see and be seen. Yeah. Oh, is that it? Yep. Frank Stallone was there. Not the place to hear and be heard if you're Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> <laughs> Only half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, why couldn't anyone hear Lou? <laughs> We're not all deaf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to Charlie Callis my way out of bombs today. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, <laughs> I can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> we heard you, Sam. You don't have to say it again. Yeah. The reaction you got is the reaction you should have got mm -hmm. by saying that Frank Stallone was there. Uh, Frank Stallone. It leads to the big Iron Sheik interview you did. Yeah, the Iron Sheik was there with his pal Nikolai Volkov. Wow. The Nikolai. Yeah. I remember him growing up. I got him to sign my chair. school wrestling. Yeah. You know, the axis of evil pretty much as far as uh, wrestling went. Well, it was a pretty good tag team scene there because Nikolai Volkov and the Iron Sheik was there as was Demolition. Wow. So, I mean, it, that's why I went. <laughs> to meet Is some it? of my heroes. When did you realize it was a waste of time? Oh, it wasn't. I got an Iron Sheik interview. And that you should have done something nice with your lovely girlfriend instead of uh, doing the nerd thing. She went. She got to take the pictures. Yeah, I know she went. Oh, wow. She's yeah. dedicated to you. She hated being there. She got wow. to see Tony Curtis. Chekhov was there from Star Trek? Yeah. All right, now we're talking some big stars. The guy who was in the bunny suit in Donnie Darko was there. Remember that guy? Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. Around. Remember that guy? It was pretty much the basis of the whole movie. Yeah, but how do you know it was that guy? He how took, do you know? He took that bunny hat off a few points in that movie. The wacky neighbor from Three's Company was there? He was there. Is that Larry Klein? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Pat Harrington himself? Schneider from One Day wow. at a Time? The guy who played Lurch in the Adams Family movie was there? Movie? Oh, okay. I was going to say. I think Lurch is long gone. Mm -hmm. And uh, Eddie Trunk was there signing. Stop Famous it. radio celebrity Eddie Trunk did was he signing. A line? Uh, he had more of a line than Frank Stallone did. <laughs> <laughs> My buddy Danny, who, who was... Uh, Pamela Ferdin? I'm not kidding. She Who's was that? there, too. Pamela Ferdin was the voice of uh, Lucy from uh, Peanuts uh, cartoons, but the later ones. Oh. And she was also a child actress that was in... Um, she played, I believe, uh, Felix Unger's daughter in The Odd Couple. And she had that annoying voice, and she was in everything in the 70s. <laughs> she was there. Yeah? How's and she looking? Great. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> the original, the original, original, original Lois Lane was there signing. No way! She's she, not dead? No, but she appears to be. How old is she? <laughs> she appears I, to be. She has to be pushing 90. Yeah, She's she does. Be. And she looks every be. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. She had a sequin jacket on. Damn. Would you? A sequin jacket? <laughs> Sam, I mean, would you? It's Lois Lane. Yeah, you yeah for sure. Of course. I'm with you. How do I know a lot of these people? Now I'm like starstruck. See, I'm you should have so come. I'm so kidding. Why? Oh. Yeah, because I don't really mean it. I mean, I've seen these people on TV, but as far as them being stars, wow. And then you get to the bottom of the page and it really gets Wait. grim. The voice of Aaron Esurance from the Esurance commercials is there. <laughs> What is that? Stop wow. it. Yes. She's a Stop friend of mine. It. I didn't know she was here. Who? Tiffany. The Playboy girl. Oh. Well, I don't know. Oh. Uh, yes. This is Sam talking to the Iron Sheik. Yeah, let's hear some of yes. that. Yes. All right. You guys put a move, Anthony? Opie and Anthony. You oh, remember yeah, them? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you remember. All right, we're here with the Iron Sheik at Chiller Theater. Iron Sheik, what's the haps? Absolutely. I'm happy to be in the Chiller Theater. And especially, I have a lot of Howard the Store and Anthony and up you. And they are the, my real radio station people. And I don't have to talk about myself. Everybody know I'm the legend. I'm the Hall of Fame, made it to the Hall of Fame 2005. And then I'll be very happy to meet my good friend, Mr. John and Nicola. Tippy here, everything good so far. It sounds like Tippy Tom. Yes. All Who's right. with me? A Russian. All right. 
Of Russian. Well, uh, a, Iranian. Uh, Iranian, yes. An this, Iranian tippy Tom. This is now turning into what I like to call <laughs> yeah, the <know>. Buddy <laughs> Ebsen syndrome. <laughs> this is the Buddy Ebsen syndrome, where you listen to an earlier tape of the Iron Sheik. Well, we could do just that. And then listen to the Iron Sheik now and realize... He'll be dead soon. Let's get it. Let's get the last Iron Sheik interview. Yes. We can do it this time. Well, here we I go. I like how he said Anthony, and then he goes, Opion. Because we kept telling him it's Opie and Anthony. And he first, thought it was Opion Anthony. First, first he called it the Howard Stern and Anthony. Yes. yes. And, really? op, yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah, it's Howard course. Stern and Anthony. And then, <laughs> and Opion. Because he, yeah. he thinks it's Opion Anthony. Yeah. And he always has. So your name is always going to be Opion with him. Well, this He's is, a retard. This is him from about, I don't know, six, seven years ago. At right, let's hear him. Basically, it's whatever you want to say, whatever you want to say, as long as you, your name and Opie and Anthony is in it, right. whatever you want to say. Okay. Yeah, just do you, a, do a you tell like me when I go. This is the Aaron Sheik, the World Wrestling Federation champion. Pleasure for me to the Anthony and Opium and pleasure to I come here. I want to <laughs> say hello to the, all my wrestling fans and hello to the all people, to the wrestling, to the, and pleasure to I be here. <laughs> <laughs> what? And the right. opium. <laughs> Keep that in mind. So that's like seven yeah. years ago. And this is a mere couple days ago. Yes. All right. That's Pramu Anthony. Opie and Anthony. You oh, remember yeah, them? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you remember. All right, we're here with the Iron Sheik at Chiller Theater. Iron Sheik, what's the haps? Absolutely. I'm happy to be in the Chiller Theater. Uh, and especially, I have a lot of Howard the Store and Anthony <laughs> and Opie. <laughs> and they oh, are the, my rare. Radio station people, and I don't have to talk about <laughs> myself. Everybody know I'm the legend. I'm the Hall of Fame, made it to the Hall of Fame 2005. And then I'll be very happy to meet my good friend, Mr. John and Nicola. We'll be here. Everything good so far. Everything good <laughs> It's tippy, what? What? it's tippy turban. <laughs> Stephen S. from Bayshore, tippy turban. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he doesn't he doesn't sound too good. And then you uh, got him to talk a little more here, Sam. One yeah, more well, clip. I mean, this is a an interview. It's not just you know. Yeah, I see. You got to get him to answer some of the tough questions. All right. It's been a while since you've been on with Opie and Anthony. Do you miss the guys? Absolutely, Opie and Anthony. They are good people. They call me my home in Georgia. What? I didn't we, know. We like, call me. him. Yeah, that you guys call his house in Georgia just to say Did what's you? up. Wow, that's I cool, that. guys. That's yeah, awesome. Well, you know, we do, do have you, celebrity friends, and he's he's yeah, one of them. Do you have a fear that someday he's going to walk off and not be your friend anymore, Opie? Uh, <laughs> 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 you're going to screw something up yeah, and gonna, yeah. <laughs> say some stupid. The Iron Sheik yeah. says we call him. Can I have his home number? I'd love to call the Iron Sheik. Wow. It's been a while since <laughs> you've been on with Opie and Anthony. Do you miss the guys? Absolutely. Opie and Anthony, they are good people. They call me my home in Georgia. First of all, I talk to them, and I'm very, very happy to actually talk about them. If you saw them, please say hello for me. Is there, any, is there anybody out there that you want to threaten right now? Anybody you want to tell them what you're going to do to them? Well, absolutely. Like I said, Anthony uh, and uh, Opion and uh, Opion. Anthony, they are good friends. And I'm God bless him. And I'm very happy to be here. Thanks a lot. God bless you. And have a good day. <laughs> you, you asked him if he wanted to threaten anybody, I think, and he said Anthony and Opium. I listened to it a couple of times, yeah. and I think he was spending so long trying to figure out how to say Opie's name yeah. that he forgot the question, <laughs> so then he just kept talking about how much he liked you guys. Opium. Yes. <laughs> Holy. Wow. God damn. That old age is a bitch. It certainly is. How old is he? I, I think he was always like that, though. Well, yeah, but I mean... I've heard his, rumors about him, Sam. His mind's deteriorated. You've heard the rumor, right? Something has deteriorated his mind. And it might be a little... He's yeah. cracking up? Yeah, yeah little, there, there's, there's rumors little, of illicit substances. There's a little crack yeah, rumor yeah. that uh, makes the rumor. rounds every once in a while. Corbin Burnson was there. Yeah, he was. Corbin Burnson. 
Everybody. <laughs> from the movie Basketball? <laughs> yes. Little. I just think of him from the uh, Seinfeld uh, oh. episode <laughs> where George talks the ear off Corbin Burns. The greatest project he ever did was The Dentist. Yes, The, the dentist, dentist was really good. He was, on, he was on The Celebrity Mole. Yeah, you guys oh, like the celebrity wow. mole. Right. Well, what was show. what was the the big show? L.A. Law. That was his big show. I know him from Celebrity Mole. All right, different generations. There, yeah, Sam. I don't I'm yeah. stunned. I don't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> that's funny. And then stomp your foot and get the word out. <laughs> <laughs> Kick his brittle bones. Wait a minute. Is that the little kid from <laughs> what? Oh, Uncle Paul Poltergeist. Yeah. Which but she one? died. She no, died. not the dead one, which would be great to just cart out at these conventions. <laughs> and yell at her. <laughs> <laughs> Dress her up like Jean Benet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, the kid that, uh, the boy that got, you know, taken by the tree. Uh, How old is window. he now? How old is that kid now? I don't 50. know. Yeah, he's an adult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. is it, is it, does he look just as goofy? Only in adult uh, fashion. That's always funny to see. Yeah, it's like, those... hey, you got the goofy kid face still, but it's got whiskers. Well, the problem yeah, you is got gray hair. <laughs> All those child actors like come to these with like you know like Ed Hardy T-shirts and really well-groomed facial hair and like dyed hair, so you know they're still in Hollywood trying to make it. Trying out there to still and, like... make. It. I got my second coming coming. I know it. Tarantino will bring me back. He brought yeah. Travolta back. Uh, Larry Storch from F Troop. He was now wearing the hat talking. too. He was wearing the and, Larry Storch and the, F Troop hat and, and the kerchief and the kerchief. Mm -hmm. How, dude? How bad is that when you're in the room alone at some point and and putting that hat on from the <laughs> mirror and realizing the show was made in 1965 <sighs> and like you're putting that kerchief and hat on and straightening it out and looking in the mirror going. I'm ready. For, it's showtime. And every year, it's showtime. And every year, less people care. Yeah, less and less people <laughs> less care. Less and less. Maybe in '75, it was still like. Yeah, it's like, hey, Larry cool. wow, look at that. from F Troop. Now it's 2009. Oh, they don't even play reruns of F Troop anymore. I don't think. Uh, Meadowlark Lemon. That's yeah. well, that's a good one. He's a legend. The Meadowlark, or was it a fake one? No, it was him. Oh, I mean, fake one. well, I arrived at his table and he was not at the table. Oh, what was he doing? I, mean, I guess having oh, a lunch break. Point. I don't know. Was he signing himself? basketballs? That's what I, I get. I get a ball signed. Yeah, he signed whatever. Where is he? Right there. Uh, right there. Right there. Which one is him? He's, he's the like guy. How... He's with the yellow background. He's probably the most famous globe trotter ever. Oh yeah. Amanda Plummer. She's been to a lot of those conventions. From Pulp Fiction. Yep, she's Honey doing the Bunny? convention circuit. Wow, that's a get. She's kind of sexy. Wharf. Wharf. Wharf was there. Michael Dorn himself. The London brothers, Jeremy and Jason, were there. Who? Well, Jeremy London was in Mallrats, and he was checking out my girlfriend. Oh, uh, I got you. Which Jess pointed out to me. Oh, I see that. Right. Yes, okay. I know who that is, of course. That's the move. That she wants you there. to, you know. And what, to defend myself against Jeremy yeah. London? What's he done? But but he that's probably what she wants. What? Like to see that you care enough to, right. you know, throw some fists with some I'm not Hollywood out Jeremy elite. London. Yeah, do some battle with the guy. I will. I'll fight Jeremy London the today. The black guy from Land of the Giants. He was there. What? The cast the Land from the Giants. What? That's one of the fun things that sometimes they put together little reunions. Do they? Yeah, and you can go and get one item signed by everyone or individual <laughs> items signed. That's a guy I would like to have met or seen again. Tom Noonan. In the right, he was in a play. He played George or Lenny. Oh, I know in, that. In the play in New Brunswick, New Jersey, my grandmother took me to to see of, of Mice and Men. Yeah. He was uh, Lenny, and I got an autograph. You did. And then he turned out to be, he was one of Rodney and Pesci's friends in, in uh, what was the fucking Easy Money? Yeah, yeah. I've seen that guy. I know who that is. Did you guys watch Confessions of a Teen Idol? Um, when they were going to rebuild all the careers on VH1? Oh, no. yeah. I, I actually watched that show. Yeah. Chris Atkins from the show, who was going to rebuild his career, and he was the one guy they said could be an A-lister. Yeah, yeah. Wow. He was at Chiller Theater. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're kidding. From the Blue Lagoon. Yes, he was in the Blue Lagoon. Remember that? Ugh. He was supposed to be a big star again because of that show. I know, and now he's selling all kinds of autographs and stuff. It's great. Oh, Scott the Bale guy from care of him, huh? The guy yeah. from Gremlins? Yes. The and, kid from Gremlins? And Waxwork 1 and 2. And Waxwork, right, right. Yeah, waxwork yeah. 1 and 2.
Dude, I love these fucking They're conventions. The best. They are the best. You know why? You are an autograph uh, whore. But it's fun just to see. Like I told you, I got Joyce DeWitt. It is kind her. of fun to see these people. I would like because first of all, I'm looking at the pictures that they have on this website with their names. Yeah, these are all. Old, old publicity shots of these people. Well, that's the beauty of it. These are the pictures <laughs> the that you can get. You can get <laughs> these are the ones you get signed. Yeah. Like, you get the, and then you take a picture with them, and then you can compare. that They don't look anything. Oh. Oh. Don't you have to pay for every picture? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to pay per picture So you and have to be very autograph. selective of which yes. big star you wow. want a picture with. This could run into thousands. These, I went, yeah, I, oh, easy. Last year, a few years actually uh, back, I went to, there's another one of these in, the, in uh, I think, Cherry Hill called Monster Mania. And it was the big They Live reunion with <laughs> no <laughs> way. Rowdy mm-hmm. Roddy Piper and uh, Keith David. And they were both selling the exact same 8x10 photo. So I picked up the 8x10 at one person's table. I paid for the photo and the autograph. It was like 50 bucks. Then the other table for Keith David or whatever, there was a, th- uh, a thing that said, you know, if, if you bring your own item, it's an additional fee. They were charging me the additional fee because I bought the same 8x10 that he was selling <laughs> at the other guy's table. And they said, well, you brought your own item. No, but yeah. it's like you don't want five different pictures of different people signed. It cost me like $100. <laughs> oh, shit. These well, two yeah. idiots to sign up one 8x10. That's it. Like, they had a, uh, at one of these things, a Texas Chainsaw Massacre reunion. And I was like, oh, I should get a poster signed by everyone. Except they, it's $20, not per item. It's per signature. Yeah. So you have to it costs, crazy. you have to pay a hundred dollars for this poster that you're going to get signed, and then there's like seven people there, so it's twenty dollars <laughs> per signature. That's crazy. It costs you a couple hundred bucks. Easy. Easy. I went nuts when I was there. I didn't mind. You know who didn't want my money? Um, Joni from uh, Happy Days. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Money's no. Oh, good turns here. out she's a fan. Or yeah, something? she was a Lucky Louis fan. She said, "We want to. Can we? Can me and my husband get a picture with you?" Wow. I gave her the money for the picture anyway because you know they're not working. First a lot of all, because it's obvious. Nuttier than a it. shit house rat. That woman. S- still sexy though. No. No, yes. stop. She was never, never sexy. Was. Oh, my God. Joni was never short sexy. Cake? No. No. E, short cake. E, can we never really sexy. Can we I, play the uh, Iron Sheik ID from the NAW days to wrap up the chiller thing? Oh, please. All right, this is the famous Iron Love Sheik it. ID for the show. Iron Sheik. Oh. Um, what do you want? We'll what try you? a short one. We'll try a long one. Okay, so you just tell me about anything, especially when I saw just talk as about myself. As long as your name and Opie and Anthony is in it? Right. Perfect. Have fun. All right. Do whatever you want to do. All right. All right? Yes. This is Aaron Sheik, World Wrestling Federation, three-time <laughs> champion, All-American AAU champion. champion. Pleasure for me to the uh, Anthony and Opium. Bring me here to New York to I say hello to the, all my wrestling fans and everybody know I'm the real Middle Eastern man. Come to the greatest wrestling country and most famous uh, uh, city in the world, <laughs> Manhattan, Madison Square oh. Garden. I Come three times champion. I want to say hello to the, all my wrestling fans, especially all American and also my Iranian friend, Khadmati Hamesh and Avandagane, Irani Aziz Salam Arzbukaram, Hamid Donia Aron Sheikh, Khosrov Azirir Mishlisan. Pleasure for me to I come back here again one more time to I talk to the uh, Opium and Anthony and pleasure for me always. Good. <laughs> good, good, very good. I don't want to get you guys too excited because I know you got the rest of the show to concentrate on. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But there might be a certain former professional wrestler that's very interested in making a return to the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> wow. After some schmoozing I did at Chiller Theater. Is it the Iron Sheik? Yes, it's the Iron <laughs> Sheik. <laughs> I, you asshole. Shouldn't we just be calling him? We got his home number. Yeah, we call yeah. him all the time down in Georgia. Yeah. Just call him Apparently. in Georgia. We, we could have called him today. Was he wearing the curly shoes? Uh, no, he... Iron Sheik has bad knees, so uh, oh, he does. the Sheik doesn't stand up too often at these uh, at these appearances. Yeah, but he yeah. did have his uh, you know his head thing on. Oh, he had his head uh, piece on. That yeah, he, uh, yeah, that's that's something. And his Hall of Fame ring that he was quick to show me. He could still call himself the Iron Sheik, huh? Why is that? Because he'll break your back if you tell him he can't. But what if, like Vince, he's not with the (laughs) WWE or anything. No, that was before Vince turned into a complete asshole. (laughs) Hey! There was a time he allowed these guys to keep their names. I'm taking your name. (laughs) Your name's mine now, Iron Sheik. (laughs) 
And then he has to change it to what? Like, oh, uh, God. Uh, bronze. Yeah, yeah. You know. The bronze Shaw. Yeah, something. <laughs> so he can continue trying to make a living. Iron, sh- so iron chick, I can't uh, use anymore. The plunger for me. That's always sad. You see one of these guys at an independent wrestling show. and they're, yeah, Titanium yeah. towel head. Like, <laughs> they're, they're, they're reworking their name so they can make a couple hundred bucks on a Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> they would have changed the Iron Sheik's name to the Sheik from Iran. Ah, that would have been the Iron ah, Sheik's name. Oh, okay. That's exactly what well, they do. Let's yeah, go to the phones. Cool. There's a couple of really good stories about uh, past chiller conventions. So, oh. Hello. I'm being an show. <laughs> hey, Tim. How you doing, Al? What hey. do you got? Um, I went to a sci-fi convention. It was called the Super Mega Fest. Yeah. And Adam West was there doing autographs uh, for the 1960s Batman show. And I went in with a friend of mine. We had a, a photo of him as the mayor from uh, from Family Guy, and I asked him to sign it uh, to Tim from Mayor Adam West, the man who loves his taffy, and he looked at me like I had ten heads, and I uh, turned to the guy next to him who was, who was collecting the money and said, will you just take care of these two? And he said, what are you, kids from college or something? Uh, he just acted all pissed and annoyed. And uh, that was a big He guess. is pissed and, and annoyed. Yeah, doesn't Adam West understand he's... More people know him from Family Guy than than the original Batman TV series. I don't understand. At like, this if point, you're gonna, if you're going to use your own voice, then why not? Like, do you not even get your own jokes? Yeah. So very good. Thank you, sir. My God, the celebrities that were there. Mm-hmm. The voice of Charlie Brown from eighty three <laughs> to eighty five. Yeah, that is. Probably the worst years <laughs> for the Charlie Brown franchise. Those were the, the lean peanuts. years. Yeah, the lean years. Those were the chemo years. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but what the fuck. Uh, let's take another phone call here. Hello, Bumpy and Anthony <laughs> Show. All right, yeah. l- listen, yeah. listen. Yeah. I, I guess I got to bring everyone into the bit. Yeah, see, you got to bring them up see, to speed on this one. We have Ira from the Jay Thomas show that was in Friday. He said this probably a thousand times. Hello, I'm being answered <laughs> yeah. show. So that's how we're going to go to the phones for a while. So when you hear that, it's time to talk. Cool. Chris. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> go ahead, Chris. All right, I got a good story about Val Kilmer, who was at uh, last year's chiller. Yeah. All right, well, me and a few friends were staying on the top floor, and we weren't aware that we were staying across the, the hallway from them. We heard screaming and yelling from across the hallway, and uh, next thing you know, we see a chick running out naked, and Val Kilmer chasing after her, and she all of a sudden screamed, you've got a fucking small cop, and all of a sudden people on the floor were just like staring at Val Kilmer butt-ass naked on the floor. We're supposed to believe this went down? I don't believe that. If and for, TMZ for a or nobody second. picked up on this? No yeah. one would Chris, have said anything. To to Just stop. What are you doing? My goodness. Chris. Yeah. What are you doing? Are you I doing? work at the. Dude. Val Kilmer's a pretty big name, so if some girl was running naked out of a convention where a lot of people could see this. Not even one cell phone say, picture in this yeah, age of technology. Saying, Val, you got a small cock, I think it would be on some of these Hollywood blog sites. Well, the thing is, these, this is on the top floor of the hotel where all the staff and the celebrities stay. Mm-hmm. And, and you were there and you saw it. Yes. Yeah, of course. All right. Urban That's legend. what Chris is saying. Thank you, Chris. 